Hello and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Bant Legends. This is our second time trying Bant Legends in this format. Uh, changed up the deck quite a bit though. Uh, the main thing is we changed up this three mana slot. You know, we had like Old Dovin, we had Gideon in there before. Oh, and I accidentally just removed some card. I think it was a, another Shalai. Looks like it just, that just happened. So I, we're trying out this Dovin Hand of Control, uh, which is a new card for me to try out in this deck. Starts out a lot of loyalty and just basically gets to sit back and play defense against one threat, uh, preventing all the damage that like one creature would deal um, while you are setting up for your other other spells. Seems like it's a pretty good Planeswalker to kind of have in play uh, if we're trying to have our legendary sorceries be able to be cast with the Druidic Vows and the Ruinous Blasts. Seems like it's a good defensive Planeswalker there. Um, we should be... Uh, all these are like good against uh, the Wilderness Reclamation deck too, which is which is nice with Narset not letting him draw multiple cards, Teferi not letting him play instants, or instant speed stuff, Dovin making their instants also cost one more. Um, so we got a lot to, to go there. We even have God Eternal Kefnet in the stack, which this has been one of my favorite cards so far in this format. Uh, we, even though we don't have very many things to reveal. But if we end up revealing Druidic Vow, oh man, it is just awesome. So really all we're trying to do here is stay alive, play these like all these awesome Planeswalkers and uh, these angels that are like our, our finishers that are also really good against aggro. And just play like a really large Druidic Vow to get a bunch of more Planeswalkers in play. We got Tamiyo to like return any of these things, whatever we want back to our hand uh, from our graveyard. Or we can uh, rifle through the deck and look for more Druidic Vows. Um, Johnny gets to gain life, put a bunch of counters on stuff. This deck's just a lot of fun. It can just do all sorts of different things. Gideon's in the sideboard to come in against control decks as a cheaper threat, uh, like basically replacing uh, Dovin in that slot. Um, and we got more Ruinous Blast if we play against like a, a green creature deck with a lot of um, non-legendary permanents or like mono-white aggro or something like that. So let's give it a try. Bant Legends. Um, I don't really like Mox Amber, unfortunately. Like, I've tried really hard to, to have Mox Amber work, but it just doesn't really work too well. Basically, I just don't think it's it's too necessary. Um, you'd be playing it over Growth Spiral. That would be like the, the spot where, you know, maybe playing like three Growth Spiral, one Mox Amber. It's like maybe with having Fibblethip as a two mana legend and your other three mana legends. It's just by the time you have your your three mana legends, like Mox Amber really only helps you go from like three to five. And having an entire card that um, requires you to have like your other legend in play and then only ramp you like later on in the game, it's just not very impactful. Think if one of these cards right now was Mox Amber, just how dead it would be. It's like, alright, we get to four mana and we play our Wrath Compassion. Now our Mox is turned on to add our fifth mana. Till their turn to play Wrath Compassion. Hmm. That was not a card I was expecting. Oh, this is like a, a blue black zombie deck. I didn't even notice that. It 
If you wish to surrender, keep an open mind. Hey, Storm, thanks. Yeah, blue black zombies. Hmm. So that thing's gonna. Oh no, it doesn't gain death touch from that. It has hex proof right now. Meditate and prepare. It's okay that Narset dies. Sorry, I'm late. All right, basically, I was I went a little greedy there with the growth spiral, seeing if we could get our fourth land where like get another land and have four so I could have Shalai instant speed. Ugh. Also, went real greedy with it. I now I wish I would have just held up Shalai with the thought erasure there. No, my druidic vow. No. My mind needs a rest. No, the instant spell won't fizzle. Um, however, if you flash in Shalai in response to a Thought Erasure, that would certainly fizzle. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. Yeah, that would have been spicy. They Thought Erasure flash in Shalai to counter it. I'm not sure if they know about the instant speed thing. Does not look like it. Whew. We're doing it. I've got time. I think I want to play Shalai first, because next turn we can flip the Escanta, so we could potentially have a lot more mana next turn for this Druidic Vow. Yeah, we definitely like having one more man because we want to, we want this to be at least five, like if we can, we want it to be five, um, and it could even be six if we hit the land drop, also. I'm just going to take three instead of letting them draw cards. It's not like that three life matters. Ugh, sorry Tamio. I know you're great, but man, Tamio just gets to re return to Riddick Val. Uh, I just have to put just have to put that card in the graveyard though to transform this. All right, we'll bounce the Midnight Reaper so we draw another card. Oh man, we're just really doing it. It's kind of unfortunate that our opponent's just like dead. We'll be able to have a couple awesome turns here. Yeah, Vow is kind of like March of the Multitude. The first one makes the second one busted because the first one just puts a bunch of lands into play and it really makes the second one incredible. Well, I'm going to play another Ruinous Blast over a Vivian. 
And maybe just that. I think I'm just going to do that. I think we should be fine here. Oh, yeah. I guess we could have just... We could have just... Activate July and dealt lethal the previous turn. Yeah. No, uh, Dove and Handed Control is just fine here. They are... They are a more aggressive deck with, like, creatures and stuff, and so Dovin, Dovin's going to do its job. Narset doesn't seem too necessary, um, but still keeping it in. Alright, we get the Kefnet. Mm, only have one green source, so even if we were. Even if we. Uh, reveal a Druidic Vow. We did not re reveal Teferi. This isn't a fight you can win. This might be a bad idea. Bouncing Gleaming over Overseer is just not so great. Obviously, we're going to reveal Fibble Fibblethip. Alright, let's bounce this, see if we draw a land. That's not a land. Also not a land. I have 26 lands in the deck. All right, down goes to Fairy. We will meet again. My prowess is I have just the trick for this. I mean, this Kefnet may just kill them in like eight turns or whatever. Hmm. Not going for the Narset. I will teach you to know it with me. With thoughtfulness before action. This deck has so many cool cards in it. Yep, cats are good. We drew a cat. The opponent scooped. It's probably all about that cat and not the bird that was flying. Yep, the Ajani won that one. <laughs> All right. Four mana with with good mana. Two blue, two white, four green. Good mana. We got Fibble Thip. So I want to find my three mana planeswalkers here against this blue deck. Whatever kind of blue deck they are, I bet my three mana planeswalkers are going to be good. You know, Teferi, Narset. I guess those those three mana planeswalkers, Teferi and Narset. Hmm, didn't quite get there. All 
Ah. It's that kind of blue deck. I have it on stream. I've not hit the Kefnet Vow combo on stream. I've done that. Uh, I played the game, played the deck off stream, and I posted the image in the Discord channel. Because that's incredible. So I think we want to play instant speed. Yeah, you can pay for the X. I mean, it's just, you get to reveal Druidic Vow off of Kefnet. Hey, Bleeding Black. That is awesome, saying, hello, Twitch chat. I just want you all to know that I bought a pair of underwear from MeUndies, and it's the best pair of underwear I've ever worn and the most comfortable. Yeah, glad you're loving it. And there it is right up there. That's one of my sponsors, MeUndies. You can get 15% off your purchase by just going through my referral link there. So check them out. <laughs> Thanks, Bleeding Black. Uh, if we would have had Kefnet in play last last turn, we would have revealed that Druidic Vow. Uh, I have not, CEO. Alright, they're tapping out. Which means we definitely get to resolve this Druidic Vow here. <sighs> or I can play just a couple Growth Spirals. I don't think I want to just play a couple Growth Spirals. We're just going to Druidic Vow for four. Mm. Five, five. Ugh. It's really unfortunate. Could have just found like the Teferi or the Dovin. Things like that. Shalai, Raph, those would have been good. Fibblethip would have been great. And now that goes to my graveyard. Lyra and Vivian would be great things to hit on this next Druidic Vow. Alright, so I'm just hoping they don't have Spell Pierce. Not going to really play around Spell Pierce. Six. Okay, okay. Here we go. I'll show you strength if I must. So I think we'll bounce the Terramander. I'll protect you. And we will. I just gain three life. Yeah. Because in case they have a trickster now for the Lyra. And now our creatures have Vigilance, so we can attack with this Kefnet. Because they have trickster for the Lyra, we're going to want to be at 6. Yeah, 
Yeah, that worked out pretty well. I do see the benefits of peace now. Next turn, I'll have the Ajani make this a 5-6 and a 6-6. Six, six, so that we can have our creature larger than Terramander. Huh. I just always hit reveal. I know I'm revealing all these cards that don't do anything, but I just like hitting reveal. I go with the double block here because if it's if it's dive down, if it's dive down. I want to make sure that we actually kill the Tempest Gen. Why can't they cast dive down? Oh right, Teferi. Yeah, they can't they can't do anything cuz Teferi. Oh yeah, Teferi just shuts them down. Well, single blocking or double blocking doesn't matter. Oh man. Let's do it. All right, so we get 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12. Cuz it costs two less cuz of Kefnet. All right, I'm going to want this as Kanta, this land, this land, the Dovin, the land, the Shalai, the Tamiyo. Oh, we are doing it. Let's get a new Teferi in this other land. Um, all right, I'm going to have I'm going to have shock in one of these, not this one. I want to shock in that one. Let's story is an on your impending failure. <laughs> Oh, that's great. This deck's awesome. Juridic Vow, Kefnet. That is absolute poggers. <laughs> uh, where are you going, opponent? Where'd they go? Alright, definitely need to grab this other Teferi. I want these Dovin's Vetoes, and I want these Harpooners. <laughs> Uh, that was awesome. I don't. Let's see. What am I, I guess I'm getting rid of Fibblethip. I guess. I mean, Fibblethip's cool and everything, but I guess it, Fibblethip doesn't really matter. And then uh, Vivian to Fairy. Narset, Narset. One Tamio for another blast. I mean, Druidic Vow is not going to, like, actually resolve, right? Probably won't. And these other ones, but we'll see. <laughs> Thanks, Sloth. Sloth is the coolest thing I've seen since the Citadel deck. None of your Vanifar decks can beat Esper? Aww. Lav on Fire, Twitch Prime sub, second month in a row. Welcome back, Lav on Fire. Yeah, if we have Teferi in play, then we don't have to worry about their counter magic. Uh, the Selesnia Titans is not on stream, Decker. And all these flyers are like really good and like must answer. 
see if we can get some more lands. Get this growth spiral out there. We did not draw lands. Sora, do you do you play Unmoored Ego against Simic Nexus? I think the plan is like your plan is like Thieves Sanity and Unmoored Ego, and that and you have you have so much discard and counter magic to protect those. It shouldn't be your worst matchup. Memorial to Genius, really. What are you doing with Memorial to Genius? I don't, I don't know what to tell you, Sasori. Um, I mean, it just sounds like you played against opponents who like really ran hot, and yeah, and you just hit some bad variants. All right, so that was not a not a particularly good keep on my part against one drop curious obsession. Hopefully, this will be better. I uh, definitely like how we have the Dovin's veto for the curious obsession if they have it. These are like cosmetics uh, with these cards. I guess that's like their their term for it. Uh, that you can buy with certain cards. Not all the cards. As you can see, this one does not have one. Say no drawing extra cards.
Get on schedule. I've got it. All right, getting the Teferi in play because that card is just so good against our opponent. It's just the best card in the format against Mono Blue, basically. And good. I didn't want to do the bounce because if I if I bounce Herald, then they if they play Tempest Gen, then you know, Tempest Gen is just a lot bigger and everything. So now we can let Raveler take a hit and bounce Tempest Gen. Ooh, I'm glad the Raveler's not taking a hit. Trust me, I have a plan. Yeah, the memorial doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense. Time for plan B, as soon as I think of one. That's not a bad card. But at this point with the Vow, I just want to land. Here we go. So we don't have to worry about our spell getting countered even on their turn at all. Um, so we could hit Shalai potentially. Perfect. I know my responsibility. I know my responsibility. Shall I and Lyra? That works pretty well. And double to fairy. <laughs> I think to fairy knows his responsibility. <laughs> I think we got that. Got that covered. All right, turns out three mana to fairy real good against mono blue. Real good. I feel like we need to crack open this war of the spark pack after that game, after that match. A little instant speed. Uncounterable Kamal's Druidic Vows. That's that's the kind of magic I'm talking about here. All right, Immobilized District. That's the fourth one because I had three already. I'll take that. Yeah, three mana Teferi is just good against everything. Ugh. Yeah, that was a good rare. On the draw, this hand's too slow. Let's mulligan. All right, I'm glad we mulliganed. Um, I mean, Shalai's fine. It's not really spectacular or anything. I'll put it down to the bottom. Yeah, our, our mana base is, is pretty tough. I wouldn't want a colorless land in this deck. Oh, um, 
Well, whoops, just caused myself two life. Wrong land, I meant some petal grove. Man, these things just kind of look, <laughs> they look so similar. Referral goals are, I have them in the info panel underneath the uh, stream. I just have the, uh, I have the sponsor logos up here now. Teferi made Vow uncounterable because Teferi said that the opponent cannot can only cast sorcery speed spells, so they cannot play counter spells. Hey, Mitchin! Thanks for the donation. Oh yeah, I gotta figure out why that is doing that, and uh, I need to yeah. All right, so. It says, hey Tom, my cousin loves. Let me get this card in play. Cousin loves Selesnya and wants to know if you could help him build a standard deck. He likes knights, but is not opposed to a complete different build. He also like War of the Spark incorporated into it. All right, so just a. Uh, I have practiced against many foes like you. Getting a Selesnya deck. Hone your prowess. Okay. I guess the first thing Mitchin is I uh, show him the deck we just played, this the Selesnia Titans. See if he likes that. Um this is a Borderland Rangers deck with a long article explaining the uh, the deck and everything. You are a mighty warrior. Oh, I, I don't. I don't know if I would recommend. I would not recommend cutting a land. You had twenty four in there before. I would not go, recommend going less than twenty four lands. That was just one game. Let's add this battle to your record of bad decisions. decisions. Is unattainable, so stop trying. No, Teferi is everything. You can only cast spells at sorcery speed. At all with Teferi. Alright, in case they have Spell Pierce, playing the untapped land here. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't seem like they have counter magic. Oh, did they have Essence Capture? And even Do Dovin's probably annoying my opponent right now because now they, they don't have... Even like spell pierce, they can't pay for anymore because the, you know, the charter course costs one more. 
Um, instance cost one more. So we are free to go here. So we are free to valve for six. Um, I'm going to minus here first in case we hit a new Dovin where we can reset our Dovin. I'm excellent in your... Well, not... This isn't a fight. You know what? I'm not done yet. No one knows the wilds like I do. Fibble dip. Hey, Dexter. Welcome to the channel. Thanks for resubbing here yet again. I really do appreciate that support. Ooh, played that fibble thip. Opponent scooped it up. Couldn't handle the fibble thip. Alright, let's get Veto, Harpooner, Teferi, Blast. Out is fibble thip. One vow. I took out two vows last time. Yeah, I guess I'm taking out two vows. All right. Gideon, it's possible Gideon could race mono blue, but I just don't think we really need to go that route. Well, I definitely love Harpooner. We're on the draw with the Scry. We get to look at three cards before our next land drop. I'm going to keep this instead of just going to... Instead of going to five cards. No Tempest Gen. Um, I don't really know what Nissa would really. I mean, well, you, we don't really have like the forest for Nissa to like add a bunch of mana. I don't. I don't think Nissa's better than other five mana choices that we have. That land was clutch. Hope you don't mind. Hey, Sothian.
Or we may just be like activating Shalai here after this to get our creatures bigger. I guess our deck's good against Mono Blue. Alright, and Selesnya Titans is now up on YouTube. Got that finished out. Alright, we're 3 0. Bant Legends is crushing it. Uh, this is, yeah, so we played this deck one other time, E Claws. Um, but the, the deck list was quite a bit different, um, and so I updated it quite a bit, and, you know, this is our first time playing this, this list, and I'm liking how this list is playing. Yeah, I think I'll play Mono Red Crisis this week. I saw, yeah, I saw the list that you, that you sent me before with, like, the new two drop and stuff. Our deck's really mana hungry. I don't mind keeping all these lands. Maybe we'll draw a growth spiral and be able to speed it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There is. I think I really liked the the thumbnails there for the sub battle stream. Thumbnails with like me as Gideon. <laughs> I have not tried Soul Diviner out yet. No, I haven't haven't tried that card out yet. Meditate and prepare. Also, possible I should just be waiting a turn and casting both the Growth Spirals first. There's not like a ton of counter spells they have at that mana cost. I got kind of excited. Good job, Clue King. Built it in real life. You're having so much fun with Abzan Citadel. That's awesome. Yeah, that's that's another really fun deck. Our opponent knew about that Shalai. Could have mortified on their own turn. This just does tap him out, lets me resolve the Vivian. I, I think I do want Vivian over to Fairy. In, instead of tucking this as Kanta, I want to just get rid of this as Kanta. Sometimes rest for good. I've seen worse. Hey, what's up, Dirk? Oh, 
not dead yet. All right, do we Druidic Vow for five? Or do we play Teferi and Fibblethip? I think we Druidic Vow for five. Oh boy. I will take all these, thank you. So we are putting Fibblethip into play from our library. So yes, that does mean that we get to draw two cards. Thank you, thank you. And there we go. Fibblethip enters, opponent concedes, like always. All right, we get all our counter spells in, some extra planeswalkers, remove these hand of controls, remove a Johnny. All right, this is 63. I like super big on Lyra Dawnbringer. Any ways to actually like kill our opponent though? Hey Kurtash, what's up? we have Gideons that are coming in to kill opponents. I'm going to cut one Fibble Thib. Keep that in. Alright, that looks good. Man, this deck is sweet. I'm liking this one. Uh, I believe you can still get the free Boros deck for having Twitch Prime. I believe so. Andre says, I've really enjoyed playing a self-mill deck recently. Yeah, that, that's something you don't get to do every standard format. Oh, thief. Turn two Thought Erasure, turn three Thief. Still winning games. On the play, turn two Thought Erasure, turn three Thief. So I guess I should bring in Harpooners. I don't know, I'm not as worried as worried about Thief on the draw. Trust me, you'll thank me later. Hmm. Maybe I'm supposed to keep in this Dovin? All right, I'm gonna just take out the fibble thips, play one harpooner, one Dovin. Mm. 
Not sure our little one one fibble tips will do enough for us here. Well, Raph also is just an instant. So it Raph is the kind of thing that we get to play, you know, helped out like before. We get to play it on our opponent's turn. Um, and then uh, and like they answer it and then it really helps basically just all of our other spells resolve, basically. Because it doesn't only let Val be played at instant, it lets our entire deck be played at instant speed. Oh come on, stop taking my Ascanta. It's twice now. Oh wow. You must have Mortify. Yeah, Raph is just something that we get to play instant speed that forces our opponent uh, to to act. Mind and body, shouldn't I have just the trick for this? I mean, it's a good card. Are we ever casting this? Maybe. Maybe not also. Yeah. Graveyard just helps our Ascanta flip and everything. Hey, what's up, QQ? Put thoughtfulness before action. Definitely think my opponent has negate. Or how they shocked in turn two with their watery grave. So pretty sure that's one of their cards, and you know, obviously we know they have the contempt for another card there. That's a good one. Train harder. Expecting my opponent to play Narset. Uh, no, I wouldn't. I don't think you. Like, what do you want to last the top plating in the sideboard to do? Thank you for letting me my Ascanto flip now.
Yeah, you, you don't need a card to hexproof your permanents. You'd rather just have a counter spell. Counter spells are much more versatile. Honor to meet you. No tail should be That's definitely good that I resolved. I say to hmm. three mana to fairy. I, I noted this somewhere. To fairy time raveler. We got three of those. Okay. Those are a bunch of not so great cards. Um, I do not know of one Rufio. Rufio. Uh, maybe somebody in chat knows of one, but I do not. All right, this Kant is just going to help us bury our opponent. And we are 4-0. Band Legends doing a whole lot of work here. Cracking this pack also. Because we're 4 0. Let's do it. Let's get some luck. Vivian's Arcbow. A green card that cares about a lot of creatures. Alright, this is getting a little choppy. I'm gonna well, maybe we don't need to. I'm gonna reset. We'll we'll do it after the league. Yeah, it's a little choppy. It's all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna reset. I want to do a little test there. Green card that cares about creatures. It's good against control. I am all for it. All right. So four and zero means that we are about to fight our final boss. That means it's final boss music time. Welcome back, Toxic Flames. Thanks for keeping that going. Fifteen month hype. Oh, I typed in 16 hypotes. I typed a bunch and I was going to see how close I could get to 15. Typed in 16. Hey, Rockborn. All right, 4 0 with Bant Legends. Here we go. Man, not only is this deck a lot of fun to play, it's been really good for us. Yeah, Dusty says, can you just do two leagues of this deck? It's so much fun to watch. Yeah, this deck's been a whole lot of fun. I do want to get to our other decks, but I, I may just play this one again tomorrow. Yeah, I still like the rural mid-range deck. Uh, my friend Mike is still playing it a whole lot and wins a whole lot with the deck. Yeah, that was an unfortunate uh, league the last time we played it, for sure. Yager, 28 months. Welcome back, Yager. Thank you so much. Rockborn says, I love the Legends decks. I win easy five wins with Esper Legends. There you go. Awesome. Yeah, Druidic Vow resolving is just incredible. All right, we want to find Urza's Ruinous Blast. That's the card that I'm going to be looking for here. Because they're going to have a bunch of creatures. 
No blocks on the 2-2. We'll probably block something bigger later. Only problem being if our opponent has you have been analyzed and found a chain whirler action is unattainable so stop trying I have not mask Legion of war boss if that's your best I needn't worry. Boxes are made to be thought outside of. They have lava coil also. No, they're probably just activating this growth chamber guardian. And Tamiya certainly helps us find Runus Blast faster. We don't have the fifth mana for Ruinous Blast anyway right now. Let's just play the Shalai. I think Dark Dweller Oracle is a little underrated. I Whether it's like good, en like good enough with all the options you've been playing in Standard, I'm not as sold on, but I do like Dark Dweller Oracle. I think it's a well-designed card. Let's slow this down. You know what? I'm not done yet. Uh, it's dealt to and dealt by target permanent, permanent and opponent controls. If only I could, if I could use Dovin to protect Shalai and like just prevent all the damage dealt to Shalai, that'd be sweet. A few things can withstand my careful scrutiny. Ilrog, Ilharg. Hmm. Time is much more malleable than people think. Well, I guess I'm tucking that thing. I think you will find my notes helpful. I kind of want to name something else. We only have two Ruinous Blasts. I kind of want to name something else and then pick up Ruinous Blast from the graveyard if we hit it. Kind of thing.
Like, no, I'm just gonna name this. Yes, name this card. Oh, we scribed one to the bottom? Oh, I completely forgot that. Honestly. I completely forgot doing that. Honestly. Yeah, placeholder name one. That card is busted. Just attacking me, huh? Draw land. Ugh. Draw land. Keep up the pace. No. I follow the tracks of the wise. So we're gonna pay two life, I guess. My no is my excellent time. My pay two life to have Fibble Thip enter for another blocker. Here we go. I have just the trick for this. Hey, what's up, nerd girl? All right, can we survive here? They just used shock, shock, lightning strike last turn. Ugh. And a Johnny gets to come down and help us start gaining life, get to play the Shalai next turn. We have a ton of mana next turn. We survived. Our opponent did have lethal if they just attacked out. Yeah, like we could block. Yeah, like we would have taken five. Uh, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. I'm going to say decline. Hold that thought. I'm going to go with like Raph plus. Probably Raph plus Lyra here. I got this. And speed Lyra. I don't have another land. I guess I'm trading Tamiyo for another land drop. No tail should be discarded. So I play a Johnny, 
And now I have... Now I have perfect amount... Yeah, now with that land drop, we have a perfect amount of mana for... Uh, Flash, Wrath. Keep an open mind. And Lyra. <laughs> yeah, I, I won't. I won't trust the auto, auto tap for casting the wrath. I'll I'll make sure to check, the auto tap. If you're only seeing four damage, you might. Yeah, the mentor. Yeah, the the war boss mentor would have got us that last turn. All right, yeah, we're we're still good. Plenty of white. Oh yeah, that's true. My my Kefnet had vigilance there. I forgot about that part with the Johnny. I did have vigilance. I could attack for four in the air. All right. Got that game. This is very close. Didn't look good for a while. But we got there. Let's get these extra Ruinous Blasts in. We're going to want all those. Knight of Autumn is just like a fine creature here. Like a 3 mana 4-3. Yeah, our, our deck has some sweet animations, too. That is something about our deck. That is pretty cool. Get rid of a Tamiyo. Get rid of these Narsets. Yeah, that's what I'm kind of thinking. Like, get this other extra Teferi in here that can bounce some creatures. Maybe something like this. Let's give it a try. I like it. The turn two as Kanta can really help us find a Ruinous Blast. Um, I have... Uh, four donation decks to do still. It's not too many. I don't have like any like a specific time that I'm like you know really needing to do any any of the donation decks by. So like basically if you have a donation deck you would like, if you tell me what day uh, you want me to play your deck, I will play your deck on that day. Is Dreadhorde Invasion not worth it when you um, have almost no life game? It seems they always kill my army before they get to six to gain life. I must have miscalculated. Double Cinder Vines?
It's going to cost a lot of health. Like the phases of the moon. Like waxing. Hmm. I know I noted this somewhere. be less frustrated if you had fewer floors. All right, so I'm hoping they don't kill my Tamiyo here. I kept the Tamiyo, hoping that Tamiyo doesn't just die here. You know, obviously it's possible it does uh, to a variety of things, but if it doesn't die, then we have our legend in play that we get to cast this Ruinous Blast with the next turn. You got it, go lands. All right, didn't die. We're going to go down to six. Seek and find. Yeah, I'm going to choose Night of Autumn. Down to four. Oh yeah, that kills us. Kanta also. Uh, down to two. Yeah, we're so close to dying, but they only have one card. We just untap. Dombringer hopefully helps us out, but obviously they have a bunch of shocks and things like that. To the library. All right, we got there. So if if our opponent just like passed here, I think my next my next play was to minus the <clears throat> minus our Tamio and go grab Urza's Ruinous Blast and re-exile like exile that rekindling Phoenix and then attack for five. I think that was my play. Let's see. Wait, let's do this one. But that's a five zero for Bant Legends. 2100 gold. Let me update that over here. Yeah, or could yeah, to fairy grab to fairy tuck it. That that could work too. Yeah, that that would be the same thing. So yeah, that that would work. Uh that would get rid of it. Yep, and you'd have the Teferi in place. So yeah, that that would work. Basically wanted something to get rid of that. Um that's right, yeah, we did mill over to Fairy with the Tamiyo, didn't we? So yeah, that would have worked. This deck was a lot of fun to play, and won all, our, won all of our matches, uh, played some good decks, too. Um, this, was, this was a lot of fun. I liked this quite a bit. We're going to have to keep this one in the rotation for sure. Thanks, Chain Gun. Yeah, this is a really good one. Um, Kamal's Juridic Vow uh, was awesome. Card's, that card's just great. And now we have not only Wrath Compassion, but then Teferi Time Raveler as other ways to make it instant speed. I kind of wish we had more Teferi Time Ravelers in the deck. Uh, you know, we have that third one on the sideboard, but maybe we should even go up on that card. That card was just awesome. Maybe less Narset, maybe. I'm not sure. But the Kefnet's really cool in there. Um, Tamio was really nice for us. Uh, returning stuff and everything. Yeah, deck just, de deck just uh, worked out really, really well. Uh, no, there's there's 26 lands in the deck. There's another land down here. There you go. Hint to the Harbor. Yeah, there's 26 lands in the deck. Because it is a very mana-hungry deck. 
All right, so if you're watching this video later on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed it as well. But thanks for watching some Band Legends, and I will see you for another video.